Hi everyone, I'm Yu Yang from Rutgers University. Today I'm going to present our work, Translog, Transparent Indoor Localization with Uncertain Human Participation for Instant Delivery. This is a joint work with Alibaba, University of Minnesota, and Peking University. Instant delivery, or online food or grocery delivery, has made a great success in the world. In 2019, the market of instant delivery has reached to $107 billion, which is around three times compared to ride sharing. In the US, we have companies such as DoorDash, Uber Eats, Instacart, and TrueBus. In Europe, we have companies such as DeliverZoo, and in all other continents, we also have many many other similar instant delivery companies. In this work, we focus on a company from China called Anime. So first, let's see how instant delivery works. First, the customer in the platform looks for items such as food and grocery on their phone and place the order send it to the server. When the server receives the order, it first dispatches to the store such as a restaurant, then look for available workers nearby to uh, and assign the delivery task to one of them. Then the worker goes, goes to pick up the order, probably from a multi-floor mall. After picking up the order, the worker delivers, delivers the order to the customer. During this whole process, the most important function of the server is to, is to assign the delivery task to a worker. To select the worker, the most important input for, uh, for the assignment is the worker's real-time locations. For an outdoor environment, the server can easily obtain the GPS from worker's smartphone. However, when the workers get into the indoor environment, such as a multi-floor mall, the problem becomes challenging. So why do we care about work workers' indoor location? So re the reason is that we find so actually around 30% of workers' working time is in indoor. To achieve indoor localization, many works have been done from different perspectives. The first perspective is to use infrastructure-based approaches, such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth speaking, cameras, lights. The strength of these approaches is they generally have very high accuracy. However, they, generally, they are limited by the, uh, by the fact that they, they generally require the complete control of these devices, which introduce high cost. Another perspective of work is based on the infra infra infrastructure-free approaches. It generally relies on smartphone inertia sensors combined with extra environment inputs, such as landmarks, indoor maps. Compared to the infra infrastructure-based approaches, they generally have a relatively low, co low cost, but require manual inputs, such as site survey. So when it comes to a nation-scale nation uh, uh, platform, so they are generally very difficult to uh, deploy. To address the limitation, the first uh, opportunity we utilize is that we find for the instant delivery, so only the logical locations are needed. Let's, see how this, let's first see how the server uses the lo worker's locations. Given a new order, from a store and the locations of uh, current locations of all the workers, the server first estimated the working time of all these workers to the store. Among them, the server may select the one, the, the worker with the shortest working time. So instead of the physical locations, such as coordinates in, in an indoor map, the, the, the real thing that the server cares is the working time. So that motivates us, uh, motivates us the better way is to, uh, for, the, for, the, uh, for the delivery service is to directly obtain the logical locations of workers, which represents the distance to all stores in terms of working time. The second opportunity we utilize is the manual input from the workers. So in this delivery process, to keep track of the order status for better services, workers are required to report the order status on their phone to inform both the server and the customer. For example, when they pick up the order and deliver the order. The most important update for, the, for us is the pickup time, which tells us the worker is actually in the store at this moment. Based on this, we could infer workers' logical locations, such as how long it, uh, it is 
away from the pickup uh, pick store. However, the key challenge to utilize this opportunity is that we find this kind of report is not accurate. This figure shows the differences between the actual reported pickup pick time and the, uh, the uh, shows the differences between the actual pickup time and the reported pickup time. The axis, the x axis is the time differences between the actual and reported pickup time, and the y axis is the percentage of the orders. We find only 20, uh, twenty-eight percent of the orders are within one minute, which which can be considered uh, considered. Uh, as relatively high accuracy. The, for the rest of the orders, the error is greater than one minute. For the 20% of the orders are greater than 10 minutes. The reason is that the workers, the workers tend to provide faking reporting to prevent possible late delivery, delivery penalty. Even all the workers report accurately, their logical locations are still uncertain. This figure shows the standard deviation of their working time to, the, to each store. The x-axis is, uh, is the worker ID, and the y-axis is the average standard deviation. We found on average, the standard deviation is around 3.8 minutes, which brings great uncertainty to obtain workers' logical locations. So before getting to the design details, we first state all our contributions. Our work is the first study of workers' localization problem in the instant delivery scenario. We identified two new opportunities and also identified two new challenges. We designed a bunch of new uh, machine learning techniques to address these technical challenges, uh, including a transfer learning-based neural network for uncertain reporting behavior and a mobility graph-based solution for uncertain logical locations. Finally, our evaluation is based on a real, a real delivery setting in a mall with 65 stores in, uh, and more than 500 workers. We further conducted a case study to show how our result can benefit the delivery platform for, be uh, for better delivery efficiency. Now let's first uh, uh, take a look at the overview of our framework. The input of the framework is the GPS data and all the progress reporting data from the workers. Based on that, we design a module to correct the uncertain reporting behaviors of workers. In this module, we aim to learn a function that takes the reported pickup pick time as input and outputs the corrected pickup time. Then based on the correction, we further predict the logical location of the, of the workers. In this module, we aim to know the logical locations of all the workers uh, in the indoor environment at any time. This is exactly corresponding to the second challenge. And finally, we output the estimated logical locations to the, uh, to the server for better delivery task assignment. So now let's first take a look at the first module. In, in this module, we wanted to correct the uncertain reporting behaviors of workers. So basically, we wanted to find a function that can map the reported pickup, pickup time to, act, to the actual pickup time. A straightforward way is to use a machine, machine learning model to fit this function. However, the key problem is that in our platform, we, we can only access the reported pickup time while without any training label about the actual pickup time. To address this problem, our key idea is that even the indoor pickup, pickup time label are, are, are not available, it is relatively easy to obtain the outdoor pickup time label. So for example, we can simply just, uh, we can simply match the worker's GPS to the store location in the outdoor environment, then we know when they pick up the order from the store. To use this idea, our key assumption is that the workers tend to have consistent behaviors in indoor reporting, uh, in indoor pickup reporting and outdoor pickup reporting. For example, if a worker tends to report earlier in the outdoor, in the outdoor store, she may also tend to report earlier uh, in the indoor store. We test our assumption based on a statistic test. We find actually 75% of the workers are consistent, have consistent reporting behavior. Based on this insight, we first train an outdoor reporting model based on several features, then we transfer it to be an indoor reporting model. 
During the transfer, we first introduce a, 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 an extra constraint that the workers pick up time. Pick up time cannot be earlier than their gate entering time. Then we design a parameter-based transfer learning strategy to, ad to adapt to the outdoor model in an indoor environment with a, a small number of approximate indoor labels. Now we are done with this module. Next, let's look at our second technical module, how we predict the logical locations of workers. In this module, we first format workers' uh, logical locations as a 2D working time matrix. The first index of the row and the column represents a gate, and the rest of the indices of the row and the columns are the stores. Based on the previous result, we can, we can simply get this uh, gate to store working time. Uh, for example, we can use the pickup, uh, use the corrected, corrected pickup time minus the gate entering time to get the gate to store working time. Then the second part of this matrix is the store to store working time. To obtain this working time, we utilize a factor in the platform that the workers actually have some cons consecutive pickup between the stores. So in, in this in this way, the workers need to walk between the stores, which gives us the working time between working time of uh, gives us the start to start working time. But the problem is that we find that this this matrix is actually very sparse. For the gate to uh, gate to store working time, we find a worker can average can only visit around ten percent of the store in a mall during a week. And also for the start to start working time, we only have around a 32% of the orders have this kind of consecutive pickup. To address this problem, we utilize a non-negative factor uh, matrix factorization method to fill all the missing working time. The key idea here is that the working time to different stores are actually related. After that, we have obtained all the working time in the matrix. Then we aim to know their working path. To do that, we we design an iterative solution. So let's see a simple example. For example, a worker will get into the uh, get into the gate and pick up the uh, order from the R pickup. So we want we want to know which uh, which uh, which store they pass on the way to pick up. For example, if R X is on the way, we find the actually the the working time between the gate and the R pickup can be approximately uh, calculated by the sum between of the of the pick it up of the working time between the gate and the rx and the working time between rx and r pickup in this way we can find the we can identify the rx on the way and similarly we do this in an iterative way that after finding rx we want to find all the other passing stores now i would like to introduce our evaluation our evaluation is conducted in a multi-floor mall with 65 stores. We obtain the ground truth by deploying Bluetooth beacons in 27 stores, which provides the accurate arrival time of the workers. Our evaluation matrix is, is designed to be the time differences between the estimated arrival time and the actual arrival time. In our evaluation, we, we compare our method with uh, three baselines. So this figure shows the uh, comparison result. The x-axis is the time differences and the y-axis is the CDF. The first baseline we use is, the, the, is, the, is GPS, which is widely used in the online, online delivery service platform. And the second baseline we use is a Wi-Fi cross-sourcing baseline. So this is a common used in the commercial map platform for the indoor localization. Basically, the basic idea of this baseline is that this kind of uh, this uh, online map platform will keep a database that contains the Wi-Fi access point locations by in a crowd in a crowd sourcing method uh, by the nearby users with ra uh, rather stronger GPS signals. The third baseline we use is a constrained fingerprinting with a, a bunch of the assumptions. For example, we assume we know a few fingerprinting locations in the mall and we know the map of the mall. And the distance of, of the worker is, is a general, is a regular human walking speed. After the comparison, we find that res, the, the result shows our system achieves similar accuracy as the fingerprinting method, 
while outperforms the other two baselines a lot. We also study other uh, we also study other factors such as uh, the importance of different co uh, technical components and uh, the performance in different flaws and the performance uh, in co uh, in the workers with different uh, different experience. So please check out our paper for more details. So now I wanted to uh, to illustrate how we utilize the logical locations of workers to optimize the order assignment. Let's see a simple example here. For example, at 12 p.m., there is, there is an order from the store D. Then the, the server assigns this order to one of the workers to pick up the order from store D. For example, the workers uh, pick up the order at 12.17. Uh, After that, probably at around 12.20 uh, 12 p.m., the, there is a second order from the same store that according to the uh, empirical study, so the, the platform generally as, assign this order from the, uh, from the store D to the same worker. But at this moment, probably the worker has already arrived at the location D. Then to pick up this or the second order, the worker has to go back to the store D, store D to pick up the order. So during this process, it actually introduced the redundant time from the location E to the store D. We find that this kind of redundant time is very common in our platform. For example, this figure shows the distribution of the redundant time in all the orders. We find on average, there is around seven minutes redundant time. To reduce this redundant time, we design a simple but effective strategy. We first, based on our estimated logical locations of all the workers, we, we calculate the, the estimated working time to this store D. Then among all the workers, we simply selected the worker with minimal redundant time, just to, uh, that is the minimal working time to store D. Based, based on this strategy, we find we can actually reduce the redundant time by 24%. So the, the reduced time lead to a reduced late delivery rate around 2.5%. Finally, I would, like to, I would like to conclude our, uh, my presentation with uh, a few takeaway messages. First, this is the first study of the indoor localization for the instant delivery. We identify two new opportunities and also two new challenges. We designed a few new models to address these challenges, including a transfer learning based on neural network to correct uncertain reporting behaviors, and also a mobility graph based solution to estimate uncertain logical locations of workers. Finally, we, uh, we release our data to promote those researches in this new area. And also welcome to uh, check our paper for more details. Thank you. <laughs>